How the hell is everybody doing? Yes, I've cursed within probably the first 60 seconds of the stream. Welcome to Tuesday. Meh. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Nori TV. Hello. How are you? Um, you are awesome, my friend. Um, I've actually been watching all your streams, but I know that um, I believe and I don't want to be insulting, but you're Japanese, correct? Um, I, I don't understand anything that's in the chat. I wish that uh, YouTube would have like a translator for the dumbasses like me uh, that um, uh, don't understand other languages and haven't learned them yet uh, so that I could understand what everybody is saying. But I do like to stop by and at least say hi. Give you a like because I like what you do. Um, I think you were working on an Iron Man helmet when I popped by last night. Uh, I believe that was quarter scale, third scale. That was very nice. Uh, Leona's workshop. Rawr. Uh, hello, Chonkla Queen. Uh, did you stream tonight? Uh, I saw you just posted a link, but I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Um, and then let us see what all is going on. I know I'm late uh, because I suck. Um, I could have started earlier, but I didn't because I was working on other things and trying to kill myself on the scooter. Yay! Holy crap, my hair is poofy. <laughs> um, I want to pop over to a Discord. Uh, it looks like Kilroy said uh, I may have a bit too many Gundams. Uh, packed them all up. Three crates, two of which were all Gunpla. Um, Angawa, as usual, there's no such thing as too many. Um, and other Dave says, when you move, yeah. And Angawa says, don't move, problem solved. I'm fearing that one of these days that's going to end up happening. Uh, I am Korean. Okay, I, I'm, I, I hope I didn't offend you. Um, because the typed out uh, to me, um, Korean and Japanese look alike. Um, but I, I do I do really enjoy watching um, watching your uh, your videos. Uh, I am envious of your spray booth that seems to suck the atmosphere uh, out of the room. Um, I want I want that. Um, uh, let's see Kilroy says I wish I had no uh, had no choice and Alan joined the discord. so Alan, a welcome welcome. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Nope, some dumbass named Dave posted a link to the video. And uh, I need to do this. Let me let me do this. Do, 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 do. Dave's dumbass world. Dave's world. I don't know why, but it pops up when I type in Dave's world resin. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Shut up. Don't care about California public health. That's what I want. And we're going to pause it so I can see chat there. Now I can see chat. Um, so let's see. That makes it easier. Uh, I offended him. Uh, I am not good with English, so it is hard to understand. Uh, but I like your vi video very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I like watching you work on resin. I like watching um, anybody. How do I put this? You guys, if you watch me, you know that I'm blunt. Um, and so I'm just going to put this. I like watching anybody of an Asian culture working on kits and working on resin. There is something about it that makes it uh, makes it an art form like a true art form um there's just something about the handling and the way people end up doing that that i really appreciate it's like watching a, a fine artist paint something you're like oh what's that blob of paint oh holy shit that's a whole flock of flowers wow okay um i did not see that coming so um yeah uh let's see here Leona says, I need to figure out a schedule um, because at this point I'm juggling YouTube, Patreon, and streams. Um, so, yeah. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at an oldie but goodie. I know this has been around probably forever, um, but I am just now um, 
I'm just now getting one. It is all dented up. This is not caused by USA Gundam Store. Want to make that clear. Uh, this was actually, I got this from Amazon Warehouse because it was $5 cheaper than the regular one. And um, I figured how much damage can the Amazon Warehouse do if it's still sealed. So uh, yeah, $5, $5 is $5. Um, so let's go uh, over to the overhead. Um, let's see here. Hope uh, I do hope everybody is being safe. Um, I know a certain a certain lucky girl that has been nice and cool. Um, congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. I take that as a compliment. Um, half of the time I sound like a giddy schoolgirl, and half the time if I decide to uh, man up uh, and not sit on my testicles, uh, I can. Haha, <laughs> Leona. Uh, I can put on the radio voice and make this sound sexy as hell. But we're not doing that because, well, I don't feel like it. Uh, Cause I can't ever, I can't ever stay focused. Uh, Leona's workshop, it's the microphone. Thanks, Leona. Thanks, I feel the love. Uh, I have that too, I've been using it for five years. Um, yeah, so. Uh, actually, if I'm completely honest, I think it was one of your videos, because you're guilty. I think it was one of your videos, uh, streams that you were doing last week. You were working on the Sosby, and you were uh, you were drilling out for um, the funnels uh, for the Verners, and I was like, holy crap, he's got like two or three of those, all with different drill bits, and that looks easier than whipping out my Dremel or my big drill so I had to try that so yeah actually because of you is why I ended up purchasing this I was like if this works out well and it has enough torque to be able to drill my holes for magnets why not um, all right let's go overhead here um, it's very useful when you're working on resins uh, Leo well, love you I love you too babe love you too I got you babe us resin heads have to stick together um, okay, so here we are with the package. Uh, I kind of showed it the other day. This is not what you think. Um, if you think that this is going to be a just unpackage it and get to work, no, you get to drill it. Uh, well, not drill it, you get to build it, uh, which I I like. Uh, I like I like when you get to build things that work, hopefully. Um, okay, so pop it over the lid. So you get one packet with some runners and some gears. You get another runner with some parts. You get another packet that has springs and grease and uh, screws and a whole bunch of cool little stuff. So this should be interesting. Um, somewhere here, I actually have, you know, the downside of having a brand new workstation um, is when you have all of this real estate, come on, when you have all of this real estate to hide things, they get hidden and you can't find them. Um, somewhere here I have, I picked it up for my watches, I have some silicone grease. Uh, or silicone, yeah, silicone grease, and it's intended for watches. I'll have to try and find it later. Um, but um, so that way, by moisture or anything. But I'm not worried about moisture. All right. Uh, well, let's get let's get that out of the way. Um, I might want to keep this. Do I want to keep this? Safety goggles not included. Uh, basic drill set not included. All right, well, I can't read the rest of that, so that goes over there too. And you guys wonder why I have a mess behind me. Um, let's see here. Uh, Angawa, what up? What up, dude? Uh, says hello to Nori TV. See, I can't even find my scissors, and I actually have a place for them now. Um,. Cut this out. Tear this open. 
Um, the same gray model rotates very fast. So there's different. Um, so there's uh, different uh, different ones of these. I did not know that. Interesting. Now you're gonna make me look for for the gray ones. Um, I don't. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Angawa asks Nori if he's streaming tonight, uh, and Nori replies, "I don't know exactly because I have to go to high school today." Oh, I thought you were older. For some reason, I thought you were older. Well, damn, dude. Yeah, get your education. Um, like that is very important. Don't be a Dave. No wonder I'm freaking hot. Turn on the fans. Where's the? Oh, that feels so much better. Yeah, I actually thought Nori was um, was older, like at least in the twenties. Oh, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Renee Morris, uh, you have to build the drill. That's awesome. Yeah, um, I didn't know that until I was doing some research on it. And I was like, oh, that's freaking cool. So if it's broken, it's your fault. Look, it even has a little decal. Handy electric drill. Meh. All right, let's get rid of the nubs. Um, I'm going to teach the class. Okay. So you're not a student, you're a teacher. That is awesome. So not only does he teach us how to build and stuff on YouTube and does an excellent job of it, but he's also a teacher. I'm, I'm past the age of school. That's what I thought. Like, I don't mean to judge, be judgmental. Like, but when I listen to you speak, you, uh, your voice sounds older. But who am I to judge that? I speak and I sound like a freaking schoolgirl. All right. All right. We're not going for perfection. We're going for build. Let's take a look at the instructions. That might be kind of important right now. Let's get some of these tins that I can't use. I need to find... I was disappointed in these. These are the Tamiya tins, uh, which I was expecting because the picture showed them like these where they have the bigger lip to fit into these cups, which these do well, but these are too small and they just fit through. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go to my most unfavorite place in the world, Hobby Town, and see if they have any there. Um, so let's do the respectable thing and put all the parts into little trays and not knock the trays over so that we can find all the parts when we need them. Um, let's see here. Uh, PM, it's 12.50, almost a 1 p.m. there. Um, let's see here. Angawa says, no wonder he's good at teaching on stream. Yes. Uh, my, my wife has become that way. She's always been nervous about, like, I can't get her on camera, but she's very good at teaching her students, so she's kind of had to be here lately. Um, she's been good at teaching her students remotely. Uh, she's actually in class now at the at the campus. Um, they have some students that they have to have in person. 
because they're coming up on the end of their times. So these are, uh, uh, some of these are undergated, so you wanna make sure and clip those undergates off, otherwise it's gonna be all bad. Uh, some of these just fell off. Make sure everything is all nice and tidy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Renee says, thanks for pronouncing uh, my, uh, what I'm using for a monitor is kind of delayed. So, uh, but Renee Moore says, um, thanks for pronouncing my names. Well, uh, my name, well, greetings from Costa Rica. Well, welcome, welcome. Um, I appreciate having you here. Yeah, the brush is not on, is it? No. Oh, that was AC kicking on. Okay. Speaking of AC, I believe our resin queen got AC over the weekend. I think she's in heaven. Uh, let's see. Dave, the 11 year old volleyball <laughs> player. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Nori, I'm older than my voice. <laughs> don't feel bad. I don't. I'm kind of the same way. Everybody always ends up questioning, especially on the phone. But it's funny, when I'm on the phone, for some reason the radio announcer voice comes out, like at work and everything. I don't ask me why, it's always been that way ever since I was a teenager and I work in shops and stuff. Like just picking up the phone for some reason does that. The women that I work with, how come you can't talk like that all the time? Because uh, I'm not trying to impress you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nori TV, gray and blue drills look the same, but have different ratio of gears. Nice. I will look for a gray one then. And add that to my collection. I should be able to find one on eBay. You can find anything on eBay. Well, at least that's what their commercial says. Uh, let's see here. Um, Leona's workshop. Yes, it's cool. <laughs> it's so cool. It's hot. <laughs> um, well, that's kind of interesting how they have the instructions laid out here. All right. So it says I need a screwdriver. Hopefully I have screwdrivers. Otherwise I'll have to run downstairs and grab some. Um, I have a big screwdriver. I may have a little one up here somewhere. Did not think about tools. Okay. Do, 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 do. Battery terminal. We're going to take this piece. B5. Oh, we're playing bingo today. All right. So here is B5. So we're going to feed this up under. And let me pivot and drop. Come on, come on. Just a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's change the view. I gotta figure out an easier way for that, but. All right, so here we are with that. So this piece actually just folds down into here and over. Uh, it'll work fine if we're done assembling it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, is this thing supposed to actually function? Yes. Thanks for the support, Angawa. I feel so cherished. Uh, it says it snaps. Oh. So there is a little latch down in here. You just want to push the, the copper piece over it and it will fit on there. Uh, let's see here. Where is our next little piece? So this little piece here, this tab is going to fit just like that and should do the same thing. 
push back there and it snaps over. Easy peasy. Um, let's see here. Pinion gear. So that is going to be this little guy right here. So this little gear right here is going to go on to the motor. And I'm only going to push it to the end. Because I don't want to go any further than that. At least right now. Not until we get it all set up. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, it actually shows. Let's take one of these tins. To place this down on something. And just push until that pin hits the end. Yay! And let's see. So with the motor, you want the two little tabs up. And that's going to slide in just like so. There. Oh, that's cool. So basically it, it friction pushes um, this connector and this connector to those little tabs. Uh, and again, it snaps in. Um, so yeah. All right, it's not as bad as we thought, people. Uh, let's see here. Uh, looking at chat, uh, da, 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 been using it for five years. And go, it looks like a model, not a tool. Uh, Nori says, ha ha ha. Uh, wonder if the Bandai plastic injection machine uh, I got will print mini runners in. Uh, if you have a chance, try the gray model. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna um, probably once I'm done with the stream, I'm gonna hunt down a gray one. Cause I know, I know, I need that power. Well, I may not need it, but I want that power. Uh, okay, so let's start on this side. So what have we got? We got the trigger. Let us trim down these nubs. For those curious, I made sure and put uh, Leona's workshop uh, links down in the description. Go check out her pages. She threatens that she's going to start streaming soon, uh, which will be awesome. And so this is going to go in here. And we have these guys this guy I should say and I'm looking for a spring so that should be there I'm looking for a washer should be there I'm looking for a screw 2 by 12 let's see that looks longer than 12 yeah that's 12 they, see, ladies, this is why you don't trust guys to tell you how big they are. Because, like, we don't know sizes. Let me, um, uh, 17. What, millimeters? What the hell? Um, okay. And here we are, starting off the show with perverse jokes. So I am looking for... looking for a little piece there are you okay you're not it you're not it not a metal piece it does come with a drill bit though I was not expecting that um, is this it this, this can't be it So let's see. So 
we have this one which is going to slip right down into here I know you guys can't see well maybe you can if I switch views <clears throat> so we have this piece that's going to fit there why am I missing a little round piece did I miss something did I not trim something no, I need probably uh, bushy. It's a bushy. Bush it. Bush it real good. Uh, let's see here. Um, quite the threat. I think I'll do one stream in English and the second stream in Spanish. Uh, and so on and so forth. That works. Um, I don't think I can subtitle in real time. No, that'd be kind of hard, uh, like in a live stream. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for videos in Spanish. I think it would be a good start. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I know that... Oh, here's the piece I'm looking for. Okay. So this little brass piece, when they say bushing, this is what they mean. Um, just a little... Come on. Focus. Uh, it's just a little brass piece that's going to slide in just like that. And then we are going to take our spring put this around the right way there's a little hole for the spring to go into and then we're going to put our washer put our screw light it in hopefully come on baby Jesus don't let me down okay just like that and do I have my small screwdriver up here oh wait stay I think one of these drawers I have screwdriver in I do yay Dave's not completely worthless okay I just hadn't put a label on it yet. And you want to, uh, let me turn this up, get rid of some of that glare. There's a little tab right, or tab right here for the spring. And I believe you want to make sure that that's seen over that. When we screw it on, screw it down. You want that tension. Um, all right, Nori, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Um, good luck with class. Um, and then let's see. Uh, hi, you're low for me. Yeah, because I'm probably not talking very loud right now. Uh, and then when you add the layer, uh, you can CC the layer. Um, Algoa says, bye, Nori. Have a good time. Gunpla fixation. Sup, guys? Um, as usual, Jim is late. He missed Nori actually hanging out uh, for the stream. Okay, I have a feeling that's not the right screw. I measured it. I have a feeling that was the wrong screw. Measured it. Cause this one only measures by eight. But it says this one is the right one. Uh, yeah, it's not right. Okay, let's fix this. See? 
I must be missing something. Unless there's another screw that I'm missing here somewhere. Well, there wasn't a drill bit. size washers all right now you're trying to confuse me people yeah there are different size washers I was just going too far. Put this guy back in. Uh, let's see here. Kanada, this is a thing. Uh, Leona's workshop, apparently, yes. Uh, Kanada sheesh, but I wonder how powerful it really is. Uh, well, Nori says that he's been using them for the last five years for drilling resin, so... Alright. There's that part. That's nice and tight. Okay. And now for the rest of the parts. So there's going to be a little piece right here. And then we're going to have our other screw, which is going to go in, and this. I may have done this backwards. Oh well, should be fine. Oh, this is for the lock. Uh, which I guess is a thing. Screw out. Because I guess, for safety reasons, we put locks on our drills. that way okay I mean I could see that all right cool uh, um, <clears throat> building your own power tool that's fine I like it uh, let's see here, Leonos, I can't imagine, well, it runs off of two AA batteries, so, I mean, it's probably not that powerful. Uh, let's see, Kanada, it's probably not that powerful, I'd hope. Uh, Angawa says, I have the Madworks Rotary Tool Tiger Drill. I mean, who knows, we'll see. Um, okay, so where are we now? So there's that part, let's get down to, we have, this piece we have a spring we have this so metal piece I'm gonna go like this let's drop this down in here first and that's gonna sit on top come on rotate around okay 
guess for right now we're trusting that not to shoot out and poke us in the eye. Let's work our way down the instructions. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with the drill shaft. Classic bearing. This is going to be this little guy, I believe. I'm going to slide onto there. And this gear, which they tell you to remove the flash, I'm going to slide onto here. a push lock oh this ought to be a blast stats and stuff and I should have there's what needle driver there we go who needs pliers when you have a needle driver needle drivers do everything uh, is that actually in there all the way doesn't look like it no it is all right, uh, da, 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 da. Jim, weren't you the one that like last year ended up, or a couple years ago, ended up getting the, the plastic cutting tool? Um, okay, so there's that, that. Three millimeter washer. There's our three millimeter washer, uh, C5. Guess I could have paid attention to which was C5 and which wasn't. Okay. So C5, fat in down. Okay. Then we have Rod. We only have one rod? I think so. This is going to slide through right into here. Then that down. And then this one is going to fit on. Not tightly, but it fits on there. Okay. And then all of this gets laid. Carefully there. Is there another rod? Was that? It was a drill bit that dropped. There should be another metal rod here. Ow, no, okay. I see what they did here. Okay, so we're going to lay that into there. That like so. Hopefully you guys can see that clearly. Um, and then We're going to kind of pivot up. I don't know why they show doing this separately. Maybe because it's more difficult. I'm probably making this a lot harder than it needs to be. I don't know why it showed putting them in separately. That did not make any sense to me. Okay. So there's that. 
And there's this one. I need to find the other metal rod. Where? There you are. Okay. I think I need to do these after I've had a drink or two. Because things go together a lot better, it seems, when you add alcohol. Okay. So there's that. There's our little motor all together. Uh, focus. There. Okay, so here's our little motor. That's all together, that's all together. I will add grease in a moment. Um, let's see here, there's an alternate set. The alternate set, good for modding, but overkill. I, I can't mind to ask you if it was any good, like if you still used it or if it just ended up being one of those things that like, oh, okay, well, that was fun. Um, okay. So next up, we have a switch terminal, which is going to go Real quick. I have a feeling you just like their attention. It's written all over your face. I don't want to play the quiet. Wish I had a better view of that. That's all there. Okay. Maybe that maybe that is right. It just seems it just seems wrong for some reason. Seems like that should. Must be missing some. I have to be missing something. Hold on. Okay, so there was the one C clamp. I don't see any others. making sure that I have everything in there that's supposed to be in there because I have extra parts that's usually a bad thing especially in my case like I have extra washers and a couple of these little clampy on things all right well we're gonna roll with this I should be drinking before I end up doing these. Okay, well, maybe they just include pieces for. Maybe that's why it is. Like some of these pieces are for the other model. Maybe. Okay, so the motor is going to slide right into here. 
Just like that. Put on this piece, because that's what we're doing. So grab the big screws. One, two, three, and four. So all these screws are the same size. Focus, damn you. I have a feeling that they include pieces that were intended for like maybe the other model. I don't know. I don't know why I have this extra piece because it's not in the directions. But we will find out here shortly. Now the infinite question, do I have double A's up here that are not in something? Uh, okay, there's that, there's that. Mm, I do kind of like that. Okay. It's definitely rattly. Uh, double A batteries. There's some triple A's. Nipple up and nipple down. Yeah. These batteries could be dead, though. Give me one moment, and I'm gonna run downstairs. I have a whole surplus of batteries downstairs. You forgot piece B1. Well, that's what I'm looking for. But unless, uh, oh, never mind. you're right. Dave is a dumb, that's where it was, okay. Uh, thank you, Kyle. See, and I was trying to figure out where that went, and I just, I was not, was not seeing it. You guys are awesome as usual. I suck as usual. I was like, I know that this has to go somewhere. They can't just have a chunk of freaking plastic. Okay. Well, that's okay. This will give me a chance to, yeah, okay.
That makes more sense. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Um, while I'm here, let me go ahead and just use their Nothing in here. Come on. Let's get her some lube. I'm going to add some of my other later. So let's screw this back together. Thank you guys. I was like, I know I'm not going insane. This piece has to go somewhere. Um, unlike models, this could kill you. Details. Thanks, Angawa. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some some model kits. If you don't get all the pieces together and they fall apart. They, they could kill you. I got one sitting over my shoulder. I don't know why it weighs like five pounds. The freaking um, dendrobium. That could kill someone. If it fell on them. Fell apart. All right, make sure to get our screws all tight. Because we don't want to kill anybody with our plastic drill uh, okay so now let's see if it was just a dumbass or dead batteries on god was going to say dumbass it's loud all right i know these batteries are old too so i'm already aware of that fact um, let's see here. Well, let's put on the battery cover. I will change out the batteries later. Wear eye protection. I don't know if I got time for eye protection. All right, so if we lock it, we can't turn it on. And just like normal, we've got... We'll try their drill bit. Let's... Get a collet. This one gonna fit in here. Yep. So we'll put that on there, like so, like that. This should hold that down. Like so. All right. The downside is there's not a reverse. No, I know you never called me a dumbass. I'm calling myself a dumbass. Um. Well, now we need to screw, well, not screw something. We need to drill something. What do I have that I could drill needless holes in? Oh, I know. Since we're wondering if this is going to work on resin, let's test it on resin. All right, so this is the, the big ass base. Let me zoom out a little bit so it'll focus up. And let's test it. I'll be goddamn. And that's what these batteries being. All right. Hopefully that's all zoomed in. You guys can see that. Keep in mind, these batteries are pretty much dead. Yeah, there's no reverse, which, I mean, kind of sucks, but this is actually going to be pretty damn awesome for doing magnets and stuff and pins. 
uh, as long as you don't get too far in there and it like seizes up on the on the drill bit um, and that's with a cheap drill bit and and everything um, I actually prefer to use these ones now these are by Dremel um, these are my go-to's this guy I got it for needless long pins um, but wow I am actually uh, I'm actually impressed let me run downstairs let me get some uh, well I mean I like having reverse in case I end up going too far and I want to back out or it starts seizing up and I want to back it out um, but hey um, give me one second. I'm actually going to run downstairs and come down. It came with one bit. I thought it said it didn't come with any bits, but it came with one drill bit. One drill bit and two collets. Which is actually about perfect. It looks like one will fit uh, an eighth. Um, I am too old school to prefer... Uh, still prefer manual pin vise. Uh, do, 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 do. Not in that one, not in that one. Where are we? Yeah. So, yeah. Like me, I, pr I prefer these with the ball head. Uh, I had one of the old ones before. Man, it just tore up my hands. Uh, but yeah, I am uh, I like uh, doing the pin voice but for doing my general magnet holes this is going to be awesome because usually I end up grabbing uh, grabbing my drill let me go grab some new uh, batteries and we'll see how this does with fresh batteries remember when the end of the world was here a couple oh shit uh a couple months ago you know and people were buying all the food and all the toilet paper and everything well evidently my wife bought all the batteries amazon had because i have a stockpile of triple a's double a's and i think that's it um actually to be honest she didn't buy it because of that she stockpiles them for the holidays for knickknacks and stuff like that um, I may put in a ribbon back here just just a piece of ribbon to make getting batteries in and out easier because that is kind of a pain in the butt I mean it's noisy uh, da, da, da. So that seems like a pretty thick chunk. Yeah. All right. Conclusion. Some money well spent. I will end up using the hell out of this. Let's lock it for safety. Um. Yeah. yeah actually, other than me forgetting uh, or not seeing where part B1 uh, went that was actually fairly easy uh, I will end up popping it off and actually greasing the gears a little bit better uh, I did end up with a couple of extra washers and a couple of extra of the the locking um, little C things I think they put those in there maybe as extras because they know that you're going to lose one because you probably are going to lose one um and then let's see where is our little handy drill sticker going to go where do we want to put our little handy sticker we'll put it right down here there handy drill yay 
All right, so I think uh, if you're watching this back, I will put a link down below um, to where I got it. Like I said, I got this from Amazon Warehouse, and it was, I want to say, like $17. Um, Renee says, kind of noisy, but I love that sound. It is noisy. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like you're going to be running it for hours. But little short, little short things where you're doing... Um, drilling holes for in my case it's for magnets this is gonna be quick simple easy um, I like it so that's it <sighs> put that over there so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the this little thing it was kind of fun it was something I talked about I was going to do last night um, I wanted to get that off of by my feet, get that out of the way. Uh, Nori TV actually recommended getting um, the gray one. I guess there's two different ones. There's a blue one and there's a gray one. He said that the um, gray one is faster. So uh, once I'm done with the stream, I'm actually going to hunt one of those down and order one to try that. Uh, I don't think you guys want to see me build another one unless you really want to see a dumbass do it again. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope everybody has a, a great night. Um, stay out of trouble. Uh, clear the backlog. I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to clear up all this crap around me. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do reviews on. Well, I don't need to do reviews on because I own the crap, but I want to because it's cool. Like I have my gimbal. Um, which I want to set up so that I could do a review on this and do the pan shots of all of that. I have, um, I have kits that I haven't even cracked open over here. If I'm honest, there's the full armor Gundam. There's the Jigen. There's um, a couple of others. I have a couple of partials that are over here that I'm taking parts from for conversion kits. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow there'll be a live unboxing of the, it's called the Singer, um, but it's the the kit that Leona and I are, it's not a competition. It's, I, I'm i taking it, and I don't know if she's still around, um, but I'm taking it as we're just putting our own spin on it. Um, she got hers for her mom. She wanted to do something for her mom that you know wasn't anime related, and she really liked that. Uh, I like the look of it. I'm going to change up the base and everything. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, her take versus my take on it. So that should be fun. Um, da -da -da -da. Flare, uh, thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, Angawa, need. What do you need? Um, yeah, the collaboration. Uh, I've done collaborations before, but usually it's someone like... I think the last one I ended up doing was everybody got a part of a kit um, and then it got sent to a neutral party which ended up putting it all together to see how it ended up turning out. Um, that's the last actual collaboration that I ended up doing. Um, good night Flair, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I gotta start doing these streams a little bit earlier for you guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, Renee says thanks really enjoyed the stream I think I already read that thank you for stopping by Renee I really appreciate it um, stay safe uh, the collaboration yeah uh, so I'm, I'm really interested to see all I've really seen um, Leona do is anime style so it'll be interesting to see um, her take on something a little more realistic this is a little more up my alley uh, because I did a lot of more realism and I also paint minis um, and do detailing on minis and stuff so that's how I'm approaching this uh, I have a I have a base laid out but I actually need the figure in my hand for scale uh, but I have I think I have something kind of cool uh, I'm I'm kind of leaning toward um, the newer style like with the overgrown and everything but with her being young and just 
plants and, and things overgrown and pieces of metal and stuff. Uh, it should it should be interesting. Um, just two videos with the same theme uh, done together. Pretty much, pretty much, but I'm gonna enjoy doing it. So I am gonna log out. Uh, I'm going to clean up my desk because it's a mess. I'm going to hunt down that other drill. I'm going to hunt down some tins for that and clean off my desk and everything. And that's about it. And then cook dinner for the wifey as soon as she tells me that she's leaving work. Uh, as usual, guys, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys just stopping by to hang out with me. Um, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy talking to you, answering your questions, having you guys judge me. Um, and that's it. I will talk to you guys all later. As usual, peace out.